Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with Forge Irish Stout, Empire Fight Store, FreeBets.com. We're here, Chloe Watson. Chloe just had a privilege to watch you spar Yaz down here at Dickie's Gym. How are we though? I'm very good, yeah. Um, obviously my last fight was the 1st of December and you know, we enjoyed Christmas and then I've been back on it really since the new year and um, just waiting to get back out again and obviously keep pushing on from your last win. We still want to kick on now, you've picked up that European title, I know you'll be looking now further afield at World Honours. I think since the start of your career everyone's always talked about you know, how quickly you want to become world champion but you're sort of improving bit by bit each fight. What have you taken away from your last fight? What have you taken away from it? What, what things, to, things to learn, things to brush up on? What's, what's been the, the lesson? Loads of stuff really, obviously, you know, it was a big experience for me, you know, fighting for fighting for my first title and um, you know my emotions are very high and I think you could see in the fight just how much I wanted it um, so it's really like about take, taking it with, in with every stride really and um, obviously being a little bit more patient and stuff when it comes to um, performing under them lights that like when it means so much to you mm -hmm. I think um, obviously I feel like everyone could see how, how much it meant to me to the point where you know a bit of my skill kind of went out the window at times um, and I was just going for it so you know I've been working on slowing things a bit down and um, you know, working on my defence and stuff as well as, as, as I'm coming forward. Now, when you guys, girls, whoever gets a fight night, there's always that buzz in the air, especially when there's a title on the line. And you are quite a, um, you are a very skillful fighter, but you, you do like a fight, as in like, there's, you can see there's that, there's that spite in you where it's like, let's just have it kind of thing. <laughs> um, and that's why obviously fans love to tune in and watch you as well. But how have you managed to sort of, how are you working on trying to maybe channel that? So as you, move up the levels you know then first couple of rounds when you maybe start fighting for world titles and the lights get brighter and stage gets bigger how are you going to work on sort of channeling that so that it's more of a i don't know maybe a more relaxed approach to begin with just in training you know in the gym we're working on things every day and um, and then like you say it'll come with the experience and um, you know that was my first title and i think i've already come away from it with, with loads of stuff to work on you know i'm noticing what, what i'm doing well and you know at the end of the day i'm fight, i was fighting for my first title 23 um, and was it a little bit sooner than, than than we thought it was going to be personally I don't I, like you know I that's what I wanted last last year but um but I think you know the opportunity came and you know we grabbed it with both hands and I'm sure I've said this to you before um that's my main focus is to be trained and ready for, for these opportunities that when they do come you know um, I'm ready to grab it with both hands and now I'm just a little bit more experienced for, yeah. for the next opportunity. 100% and you proved as well under a pressure situation where you needed to pull it out the bag, you, you grit, your determination, everything else got you through as well. Um, what what we're looking at next, I know you're obviously be keen to get back out, you're always in the gym, staying sharp, um, always in shape. When, when are we looking at getting back out? Um, hopefully the end of May, um, but like I said, I've been in the gym you know, since, um, since January and I'm just waiting on, on, on that date now. Um, so it's looking to be around May time. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Has that sort of fueled your, your hunger, the fact that you've picked up a belt already now, that feeling of hearing, you know, Andy New, and you get your arm raised, you've got your belt, you've got everybody there. Has that sort of set you up in your head going, you know what, I have to, I have to, I have to feel that again at some point? Has that given you that, that sort of kick? I feel like, you know, this time last year, you know, that it gave me, it, that's what gave me the kick, you know, I wanted to be fighting for the title and then, you know, I'm thinking about where I want to be this time next year. You know, and I want to be fighting for, for world titles and, and, and everything. So, you know, I have to keep performing and keep, keep getting better with each performance. So I think that naturally gives, gives, gives me the kick. What else have you been up to in between? We normally have a little catch up about socially what you've been doing because you've, you do some, some mad shit from time to time. Um, what have you been up to? Neo, you, you, you do the worm now? <laughs> of course, I've done the worm. No, you didn't. You didn't. I did the worm, yeah. Got to do the worm. What? The so, middle, middle of the Neo concert, you just move everybody out and start doing that? Yeah. If you, if, listen, if you have standing, if you have standing tickets, you need to be doing a little bit of dancing. I know, but there's dancing and there's the you know, so creating your own show, isn't there? Is that, does that happen? Have you it's actually. Have you, uh, isn't it? You've done <laughs> it enough. once, it's not exactly a signature. I haven't only done it once, you've just seen me do it once. What, so every concert, this is just a thing, is it? Chloe Chloe's out, so she just starts doing the worm. Yeah. <laughs> Did this one get videoed like the last one? Yeah, no, actually. You like it. Do you want me to show you it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will after this then. <laughs> All right, no worries. Um, look, interesting sort of couple of months coming up in terms of big fights, in terms of 
what's sort of happening in the women's division. Um, we've seen a lot of good fights, obviously. Katie Taylor, Chantal Cameron, um, Natasha Jonas, Michaela Mayer. Yeah, Sunita Strader as well on the weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah, she just she just won Brilliant. a fight. Great fight. Do you enjoy what do you enjoy watching um obviously the fights of Bronze Fly? Do you pay do you pay attention? Because I know a lot of fighters are like once they've out the gym, done the fights, sort of switch off from it. Do you watch everything? I do now, especially like, you know, the likes of Sinisa Estrada because, you know, she's like she's around my weight. Um you're looking at what she does well. Um obviously like what's made her the fighter that she is and you're looking to take take little bits from it. Um so, you know, I do definitely like to I look at the women's boxing a lot. Um, so, yeah, I do like to watch, watch it and just take more to take to take things from it and see what people do well. And then you've seen the likes of Fraser's fight as well. Obviously, what a fight, by the way. Looking at me. I miss his Fabio. I miss his Fabio just saying you are one tough the fuck. That was incredible. And yeah. um, Fraser as well putting in a, an incredible performance. Yeah, you, you've seen at the end as well, they were both so exhausted. They literally gave everything they had um, in that fight and I think that's what it's about. You know, That's why we trained so hard to, to give it all we've got and we definitely weren't disappointed watching that fight. There's so many big fights out there for, for all of you. Um, speaking to Yaz and I'll, we'll speak to her after as well. She's obviously just come off um, a, a, a close fight to Shannon Ryan and with a change of opponent as well. I think she was scheduled for Maisie Rose originally. Um, and then she was supposed to fight in Emma Dolan. So there's a bit of a merry-go-round of fighters there. Who do you who do you see in the next sort of 12 to 18 months? Who do you want to fight? Like big names wise. If you could if you could map it out as in Chloe the promoter, not the not the fight, because I know you'll fight anyone, but ideally, if you get this one out of the way in May. I would say, who do you want to fight? Yeah, well, you know, you look, there's some great domestic fights to be had, um, you know, and I think it'll get the British public really, really tuned in to, to, to the fight. You know, you've got Nicola Hopewell, that's boxing for the Commonwealth title at my weight. Um, she's fighting Gemma Rueg. You've got Maisie Rose. Um, you've got Shannon Ryan. The, the, the way You'd like them fights, the, the Shannon Ryan fight? Yeah, look, they're all competitive fights and you want to be in competitive fights, you know, people want to see it. And um, I think, you know, it's going to come a time where we're all going to be boxing each other, whether it's this year, next year. Um, you know, I know we're all slightly different weights and stuff like that, but we've all got a similar goal to become the best. And, um, and you know, we've all got our eyes on, on, on becoming world champion. So, you know, I have, I have no doubt that we're going to meet somewhere um, down the line. Do you see that your, who your like, dance partner is in three years' time? You know, when you get to that stage where it's like your mega fights, when you start really sort of... Where you like maybe unifying belts? Do you see the other person currently and think, you know what, in a few years, me and you, that'd be unbelievable? Yeah, definitely. You know, you've got the likes of Marlon Esparza as well, and like, you know, and everything she's done, you know, like I said, I'd like to look at that, at the champions at my weight and, and, and see what they're doing. And, you know, obviously I've got my eye on them because I'm like, you know, hopefully one day, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fighting them and, and I'm, I'm getting my game plan ready. Yeah. It's obviously a bit of a dream team yourself, uh, Blaine, Rick here, they're obviously keeping keeping you in. How's, how's that sort of, I suppose, not relationship, you've had a long relationship with them, but is everything still sort of fresh? you feel like you're learning all the time with these guys? Ricky, obviously, is well for knowledge. Blaine, you know, seen it a lot in the game and obviously he's been with you from day one. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, even in these times now, you know, when we're just, we're, we're, we're ticking over and we're, you know, they've kept me in a great routine. I've been sparring the likes of Shannon Courtney, um, getting some great rounds in with it. I've come up today, you know, and sparring jazz and um, and you know they've kept me in a great routine while like while we're taking over. So when that day comes, I'm going to be more than ready. And that comes down to their experience as well. And and you know they've 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 dealt with boxers in this in this yeah. position. So you know they know when to pick it up and they know when to say chill out. Um, and I feel like you know we've got that great relationship now where. Where, where they can they, they know me and they know what I need and when I need them yeah. and um, and it, it's it's a great place to be in. Hundred um, percent. Well, look, like, oh, just pick this pick up on this actually. I I didn't know how hard of a fan you were, but Everton. Not gonna lie, I thought me and you got on a little bit, and I saw that I was just like, <laughs> fucking hell, like. Just spot Liverpool, do you? Oh no way, see you later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know. Nah, that. look, me um, me turn brother sports Liverpool. I sports Everton, um, just the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? Why did you make Why did you make that choice? Do you know what? We've all, we were both Everton fans to begin with. Oh, um, he, he made the switch. No, well, I'll tell you the story actually. So, um, so my granddad's a, a big Evertonian, um, massive on it. My stepdad, um, he's been with me mum since since I was five. So you know, been a big part in my life, and um, and he's he's a he's a big Liverpool fan. So. 
he tried to get Curtis on the on, on the red side and um, and he said he said to me, I'll give I'll give you a pound if you if you go and tell your auntie that you support have um, support Liverpool. So he gave us both a pound. We went and told my auntie that um, that we're Liverpool fans now. And then he stuck as a red, and I just said that oh, I, I don't really. I support I support Everton. Um, and ever since then, he's been he's he been stuck a red. It out. Yeah, he's been a red. I've been a blue, and um, oh. and yeah, we've been rivals. Yeah, it's worked out for him quite well, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't worry before I start getting pelters all over from from these guys. Um, look, Chloe, I appreciate your time. Thanks for talking. Thanks for letting us watch sparring as well, and we'll catch up soon. Thank you. See you soon.